Hey folks, Tim from Supreme Suspensions, and with us today is a 2008 Ford F-250. It's got a 6.4 liter diesel engine, four wheel drive, as well as the King Ranch package, which means that it has fancier leather than your brother-in-law's Denali. Compared to its half ton counterpart, the venerable F-150, it's got some seriously beefed up suspension components. And while they're built for towing and hauling, they also make a great starting point for a burly off-road rig. So let's roll her in the shop and tear it apart. Once you get the wheels off, disconnect the sway bar links from the axle. Undo the brake line brackets. With the front axle supported, unbolt the lower shock mounts. And then go after the uppers, so you can pull the shocks out and set them aside. Carefully lower the axle and remove the coil springs. Disconnect the lower spring perches. Install the included lift spacers between the lower spring perches and the axle, and secure the setup with the supplied hardware tightened to 148 foot-pounds. Install the coil springs, taking care that they line up to their original positions, and raise that axle to compress those coils, so you can install those shock absorbers. Run the lower bolts down to 111 foot-pounds, and tighten the uppers to 46 foot-pounds. Attach the brake line brackets. Attach the sway bar links to the axle and torque the bolts to 111 foot-pounds. Now test fit a wheel spacer. Trim the factory wheel studs so they do not protrude from the face of the spacer. Attach the spacers to the hub with the supplied nuts tightened to 165 foot-pounds. Install the wheel, making sure that it sits flush to the face of the spacer. Snap on the center caps and you're ready to roll. So today we installed a one and a half inch leveling kit on the front. We also put on some two inch wheel spacers to widen out that stance. It's getting pretty late, so we're gonna head on back to the ranch, the King Ranch.